You don't want him to not hold back anymore, that's for sure. Oh. The sound effects. Oh boy. Ooh, fucking goosebumps. Again. Did, is he... Is he dead? <laughs> well, he officially snapped. No! <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were stronger. Oh, well, I think that's the that's the end of the multiversal guy, probably. Holy, is she fine? All clear. One injured woman and child. Ma'am. Oliver. Oh, thank God. Oliver. Oh, oh, thank God. Dude. She, of all people, does not fucking deserve any of this. Oh, wait, yeah, how, how is he gonna get back? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I had to. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill him. He tried to kill me. He was gonna kill my mom and my brother. Yes. I didn't want to kill him. I did it. I had to. I had no other choice. He's not on his dad. Not yet. Not after just one kill. Nope. I thought he was stronger. He told me he was stronger! <laughs> That's true. Oh, God. Where am I? <laughs> Thanks for leaving. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Alan. Oh, wait, no, it's only men. Return him to his cell. Yes, General Krieg. Sir, please. I've looked up to you since I was a child. Don't make me hurt you. They all look the same. That's crazy. I merely wanted to stand. I'll walk out of here on my own. Mm. Move, scum. Oh, shit. Hey, just cut me some slack. There he is. Jeez. Holy crap, my plan worked. What? Oh. Remember me? Yes. Uh. Why are you here? For you, man. I'm here for you. Talk soon. Hell yeah. They're breaking up. You've really done it this time, Mark Grayson. Wasn't his fault. Just keep on ignoring the fact that you killed someone. That's helping you keep it together. He deserved it, to Although be fair. I don't think talking to yourself... If anybody had those... his powers, and he saw his mom in that state, the guy who did that, who's done that to her, would probably be dead. Oh! What Whoa. the hell? Mark, you look terrible. <laughs> Are yeah, they... from the world where he's evil? Mark? I'm opening a portal that will send you home. Nice. I don't know if I would have survived here. Is you that did. is that home but though? You wouldn't like what you had become. I mean, what if it's a trap? Is it, is it a trap? I love you, Mark. I have for a very long time, and when you disappeared, I was devastated. I, I. I should have told you. Oh? Eve. I... No, don't tell me. Tell her. Oh! Tell her you love her. Now go. Shh, dude. The ultimate wingman. Let's go. <sighs> <sighs> I suppose you weren't paying attention when we discussed not damaging the time stream. Shut up, Rex. Rex? What do you mean, Rex? I'll give you some time. Thanks, Cecil. Man, poor I Dickie. appreciate everything. Always. Oh, God. Mom. 
I'm okay, Mark. <laughs> they got the same eye. <laughs> Man, it... they they built their relationship so well in the show that it just it hurts when you see anything happen to any of them, and like this just sucks. You didn't have a choice. Don't beat yourself up over it. I mean, you're not your dad, Mark. You weren't there. I wouldn't care what Cecil says in this case, to be fair. <laughs> He's not the voice of reason. The bad guys are dead and the good guys are alive. That's a good day. How do you I know guess. the difference? I guess. Need any help? Making a sandwich? I'm sorry, I, I was just... Can we talk? Make it is fast. he about to My die? Getting soggy. And Rex is gonna take over his robots? Somehow? I'm still learning to navigate the world of in-person interactions. Well, it shows. <laughs> Cold. I care for you, so I wanted to fix your problem. I'm sorry if along the way I became a problem myself. As apologies go, uh, that's not a bad one. She looks smaller. Thinking, just talk to me first, like a person. If you do figure out how to stop me from getting younger, I'd appreciate it. Understood. Let's go. Maybe ask me out on another date sometime. Oh. Uh, uh. Would, would you, you like to? Yes. Nice. Yeah, he just needs to kind of learn how to speak, I guess, with uh, people in general. What is this? Oh, the guy. Yeah, a vacay. <gasps> I'm sorry. I never told you. Kate. I never told anyone. What? I always kept hidden and lived through a copy, just in case. <laughs> no. I was so tired of dying. I was going to walk away, become someone else. But I couldn't because of you. That's a win? No? I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. Oh. Everything's okay. Oh, man, I'm so happy for him. He looked destroyed. Even though he just got with her pretty much, but I mean, I guess they share a connection. So, that's nice. What is this now? Another side plot? Ooh. Shit. Whoa. Good job, now you're stuck. <laughs> Who is this? Is that him? Oh, Dad. What? Oh shit. Here comes the mummy. Who will succumb to my influence? Wait. You're both female. And? So what? I must inhabit a living male host to escape the curse of this tomb. No way. That's sexist. Well, or luck then. What? Strong enough. The and fuck was this. that all about? It's all I ever wanted for as long as I can remember. I want to be just like you. Oh no. You will be, son. You will. <laughs> You'll outlast every fragile, insignificant being on this planet. You'll live to see this world crumble to dust and blow away. Everyone and everything you know will be gone. <laughs> It's a smart move, including the previous season's finale into this finale. I'm not my dad. Where is he going? The music is just slightly offbeat. Uh, that's a interesting detail. Just like Marcus of Beats right now, maybe, kind of. Classic. She looks over when he's already gone. Put that on the bingo card. Gas leak blew up the house across the street last year. Now your place? Oh man, I gotta get my place checked out. Yikes. <laughs> I was coming to say goodnight, but you're not gonna be sleeping anytime soon, I see. Sorry, I got a lot on my mind. <sighs> Same. <laughs> the fact that they share an eye is 
crazy. I'm quitting college. <gasps> Mark. It doesn't make sense. I'm missing all my classes, and the more I think about it, what's the point? Am I gonna be a dentist? A lawyer? A, a coder? Why would I do any of that? I know things have been tough, but this... This is your future. You gotta have somewhat of a normal life. College does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. Mark? Exactly. I oh. can't. I just can't. The things I can do. It's too much. I can't do it. I have to get better. I have to learn how to control myself. Do you understand? Mark. Do you? I do. Nice that they get to have a proper eye to eye. Is your mom okay? Yeah, what about these She's two now? Okay. She's a lot stronger than she looks. Yeah, I bet. How are you though? If you ever need a shoulder, I I've got two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Come on, Mark. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Okay. I don't remember. Have they been together in the first season? Or no? Ah, oh, come on, Mark. Do it. It's time. It's nothing. I'm sorry. Oh. <clears throat> sure. I'm sorry, Mark. It's not fair. You don't deserve this. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna get together. I am sure of it. By the next season. Oh. That's it. And the prison. Yo. Nolan. Yo. You there? I'm here, alien. Oh, come on, man. It's Alan. Yeah, Don't cool. be like that. Close enough. I'm not a Viltrumite anymore. I feel shame and regret for my actions. I see the suffering of lesser beings, and it upsets me. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> what I did on Earth, I deserve death. Oh, God. And yet, I think... I miss my wife. Damn! Hey, yeah. He said it. And that was Invincible. As finales go, that was pretty good. Um, the MVP? Shit, I don't... I don't even know. I don't think it's it should be Mark. It's not gonna be the multiversal guy, obviously. Shit, you know what? The MVP for this episode is gonna be... Omni-Man. Just for what he said there at the end. And he is, you know, he changed. Looks like he changed. And he just realized that, that he's kind of changing. And it's it's great. The Earth might actually have a Superman after all in a, in the due time. <laughs> and with him now being the MVP, it means that the MVPs for this season... Holy shit, there's not a single one with more than one MVP. That's crazy. The MVPs for the second season are gonna be Omni-Man, Alan, Amber... Baby, Olga, Rex, Shapeshift, and, or Shapesmith, I guess, and the Viltrumite dude, whose name I, I don't remember, the one who ripped his beard off, and he's like, hey, mustache, Viltrumite, right here. Uh, yeah, MVPs for the, for this season. Which only kind of confirms the fact that not a single one got more than one, kind of confirms the fact that this show is very spread out and very, you know, all over the place in, in good way though. It's not really focused on just one person or one character, it's multiple and it's doing a good job of uh, showcasing a lot of different characters and stories and all that. It's good, it's great. Other than that, the finale went away i did not expect it to go and i didn't want it to go this way because i was kind of scared that if it's gonna go the multiversal way like okay this is gonna be the multiversal ending i was scared it's gonna suck man like all the media we've gotten in the past couple of years of like the multiversal stuff most of it did suck a bit it wasn't the best it was kind of rushed and people just jumped on the band bandwagon it seemed and like hey let's let's do the multiversal stuff it's gonna make us money and they just kind of wrote in as fast as possible and it sucked a lot of the media the multiversal stuff uh, sucked in the past couple of years so i was kind of scared like if it's gonna go this way I hope not. I kind of want to see more Omni-Man and the prison. And I want to see what happens there. And maybe leave that for the third season. I mean, the multiversal stuff, maybe leave that for the third season. 
But no, they went straight to the multiversal stuff. And, you know, they went ahead and said, okay, let's end that. Let's end the multiversal stuff and let's leave the general Omni-Man and the Vultramite stuff for the next season. Like, let's have that as the over overarching thing. And... It was a good decision because the multiversal stuff was actually very well written and very well presented and it's now done with it's over if they kind of left the guy kind of alive and he would be like yeah he may come back he may not come back that would be worse but the fact that he actually died and he served as a purpose for mark to fucking snap finally yeah that was a <laughs> that was a pretty good ending the whole fight was done very well as well it wasn't just hey let's you know fight and we're gonna jump through all these universes and references and shit like there were references but they were good <laughs> we saw spider-man batman uh, professor ock <laughs> apparently and yeah it also had kind of a purpose like he kicked mark into the multiverse to try to go against like he wanted to fight and then he got the fight and then he died so that wasn't much of a plan was it now fucking idiot i man even though he's dead like i don't care what, what a guy i mean i get that mark was uh, a bit of an asshole in all the other universes as we saw and just a evil <laughs> he was a bit of a evil guy there from what we saw like jesus christ man the, sh the scenes that they show of mark just uh, killing everyone Oof, <laughs> that was crazy. But I mean, like, yeah, th those were different universes. You can't compare this universe to this universe. Like, if I try to bake a cheesecake and I give the cheesecake to you and you taste it and you're like, what the fuck, this tastes really, really bad. Are you gonna now expect that everybody else's cheesecake's gonna taste the same? Like, if a, a fucking Michelin three-star chef comes to you and he gives you his cheesecake, are you gonna be like, nah, dude, this, this ain't it. I tasted our cheesecake, they all suck. Okay, you know what, let me get a bite, uh, get, get a bite, and it's good, but all the other cheesecakes sucked, so this one gotta suck too, even though I just tasted it and it tastes actually kinda nice. Nah, it sucks, just like the other ones. You know, that makes no fucking sense. So on that note, I cannot emphasize with the guy whatsoever. And I'm glad he's dead. Debbie did not deserve anything that happened to her in, in this episode. The dude has fucking broke her arm, man. What the fuck? I mean, I feel like, as I said, anybody would snap if they saw their mom in that state and they had superpowers. They would kill the guy. And... The fact that Mark is now kind of thinking about it a lot like shit, has, have I become my dad, just shows that he is not his dad, he is not evil, because evil people don't really think about like, am I evil, am I not evil, after doing uh, one minor thing, like a fucking stealing gum from a gas station, the fact that it's weighing him down as much as it does, just shows that he's not evil, he's not his dad. And I wish somebody told him that, but uh, he wouldn't listen anyways. Unless Debbie told him that, maybe. But, uh, you know, she's got her own problems. She's also in the same boat, I feel like. Somewhat, like, she feels responsible for everything Omni-Man has done. So, uh, yeah, I get it. There's, there's a lot... A lot of trauma in that family <laughs> right now. But yeah, with that being said, I really, really want to see what, what other people think about this. So, let's go check Reddit. <laughs> Episode 8. I thought you were stronger. Boy, was he not. <laughs> and he even popped off uh, when Mark finally attacked. Like, hey, buddy, this is what I wanted this whole time. We can now finally fight. I am so strong. The scientists has, have put me together. I'm going to kick your ass. And not even a minute later, the guy is dead. What the fuck are you saying, man? <laughs> and now the season 3 wait begins. So it shall. And again, I wonder where it is gonna go. Because now that they put the Omni-Man and Viltrumite stuff on the sideline, and they kinda had the multiversal stuff there in the front, now that that is done, maybe, just maybe, it, the, 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 the Viltrumite stuff may come back and be the main point. That would be crazy. Actually, how long even is the comic? Like, how much seasons can can they get out of it at this point? Is it still ongoing? Hold up. Is the Invincible coming ongoing? Uh, yes, the Invincible coming is finished and ended. Oh, oh, that's actually kind of nice to hear. It has an ending. 144 issues and 25 volumes. Season 1 covers about 37 issues. But also, I'm trying to look for how much the second season covers. And apparently... It doesn't, like, the show doesn't really follow the comics much in, in its arcs and the way it goes, I guess. Hmm, well, that's, um, yeah, hard to say. But I'm guessing 
three, maybe four seasons total there's gonna be. Which is a nice number to end on. The fucking Batman named joke and sorta cameo cracked me up. I could just watch an hour of Mark making fun of superhero names, not gonna lie. Yeah, the, the references were very smart and well done, that's for sure. Damn, his mom was fighting for her life, meanwhile he was out there hitting the gritty on Fortnite. What? That looks more like a CSGO sniper, no? Is he actually in Fortnite? Is that a Fortnite thing? I, I, never, I never played Fortnite. I think. I miss my life. <laughs> Which one though? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I forgot about that. Presumably the one that's still alive. <laughs> I mean, you never know. Legally distinct Spider-Man, my beloved. <laughs> <laughs> How long until someone rotoscopes Spidey and Doc Ock into this episode? Yeah, not very long at all. Just wait like a week. <laughs> they really edging us with even Mark. And they're, they're gonna, you know, you can see it. They're gonna get back together by like the second episode of the third season. For sure. I legit gasped when he broke Debbie's arm. Yep. That was uh, incredible to watch. In not the good way. Like incredible as in... Fuck the guy. <laughs> Mark finally unlocked the signature of Ultramine impact frames. <laughs> the whole fam rocking the same black eye. That's what I said. I mean, the purple kid didn't have one, but uh, you know, uh, maybe that's for the better. <laughs> oh, even Nolan had the black eye. Oh shit. Steven Yoon is really killing this, these scenes. Dude, by the way, the scene where he was punched, he was, you know, going ham on the guy and snapping. The voice acting in that, holy shit, that was top tier. Where's season three, William? <laughs> Dude, I want to see him come back to Earth and with his changed mind now. Like, how are people going to react? I mean, it's not like they can do anything against him, so... Uh, <laughs> That's gonna be interesting. I'm super excited for the for the next season. With the last episode out though, now I think I can check the top of all time on Reddit. Unless it features the comics spoilers. Let's see. Talent agent. Okay, I have a potential job for you. JK Simmons, do I have a mustache and or be a dick to teenagers? Talent agent, yes. Uh, JK, sign me the fuck up. <laughs> They're each missing what the other has. <laughs> Dude, those characters were fated to clash, their beards are polar opposites, peace was never an option. But this is all season one, what about... Okay, well, what about like last year, top of uh, this year? Even they know he's getting his ass whooped, LMAO? Think, Mark, they are made from sugar, spice and everything nice, and chemical X. There's no stopping them. Who's winning this fight, Omni-Man or the Powerpuff Girls? Oof, that is a tough one, that is a tough one. Powerpuff Girls have the power of being anime. <laughs> Or whatever, I don't know. That would be tough. Found the show for me and my kids to watch. They love superheroes. <laughs> oh, poor, poor guys. The moral is about to realize that he is weak as fuck. Omni man, you bastard! How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Dude, yeah, he cannot do shit against Omni man. Dude, oh, I forgot to say, actually, by the way, the fact that his girl came back, so sweet. And even more so by the fact that he is now. I don't think Cecil knows about her. So she is not needed in the superhero thing anymore. So she can fully be with him. That's great. That, that's great. I mean, they didn't really build their relationship enough in in one way, but in the other way, it seemed genuine enough. And he really, really cared when he died, when she died. So uh, I'm I'm glad. I'm glad. Same universe. Metropolis, 5 p.m. Gotham, 5 p.m. <laughs> this is for the future of Empire. What the fuck? Official poster for Invincible Season 2. Damn, that's great. How cute. Hey, you look stunning. Oh gosh, thank you. You're pretty cute too. Um... <laughs> oh man. So do the Graysons just not have neighbors or what? That is a great point. What the hell? There's a window right there. Move slow. Your mother and I have a relationship that is all about a master-slave dynamic. When I said she was more like a pet to me, I meant that in the most literal way possible. Remember that time you found a dog collar under the couch? And I told you, it was because we were getting you a dog. That was a lie, son. Truthfully, your mom likes it when I put her on a leash and walk her around the backyard. She's usually naked, of course. I can't explain why. Okay, that's enough already.
And with that being said, how did you enjoy the Invincible Finale? Was it satisfactory for you? And was there anything that I might have missed? Leave a comment below. Have you enjoyed this reaction to <laughs> this show overall? Consider leaving a like or a sub if you want to see more. Because if you do not, you shall go to a dimension where with talking dinosaurs that may not actually eat you when they find out that you are a intelligent uh, being. And they may just befriend you and, uh, you know, be uh, friends, a dino family. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.